Well, Floyd Mayweather talks a lot about hard work and dedication, and that has been the root of this light heavyweight contender getting back to a championship fight. We'll see what he does with it here tonight, champ. He's a grinder, John, and you knew that he would get back here. You knew that he would find a way to put himself right back on the verge of becoming the man. He has seen it before. He has done it. He has been here. He recognizes and knows that the changes necessary were done in the gym. He's ready, prepared. He's sure. He knows in his mind that by the end of the night, he's holding championship gold. And there was a time when this division was top heavy. Now the top 15 is absolutely loaded. He has emerged out of that pack. We'll see if he becomes the new champion here tonight. Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pajeda, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. ready to engage. We'll see how he handles this challenge tonight. Our tale of the day for this light heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Khalil Roundtree Jr. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, he is the reigning, defending UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Politan. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. Do it. What a night we are expecting here at Scotiabank Arena. You got the We The North t-shirt on underneath your suit. You do. Because you know I'm the guy that loves any team that's winning. So yes, we are the North. Or We The North. They don't use proper grammar up there in Canada. But We The North. Circling towards the left now. Early connection with the left from the champ. So there it is from the kickboxer who told us he was going to go to that front kick early. And he did not miss with that one, DC. He didn't miss. He went to the front kick. Expect him to keep going here. Because this is not only damaging, but it keeps him at the range at which that he wants to fight. And blocks the shot there.
Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, that one landed, yep. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Roundtree Jr. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he was trying to chase down that finish. Try to establish that jab. Nice kick. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Under 90 seconds to go. Ooh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. All right, champ, now we're starting to see some bruising on that thigh. Pretty good job attacking that area tonight. I mean, this guy is... Oh! Could be the beginning of the end here. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Round Tree Jr. gets tagged by that stiff jab. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Final seconds of round one. Oh, Second wow. round straight ahead. All right, buddy. Let's punch into that clinch this round. Right? He has no answer for your clinch. He's not defending the right way. He's open for those knees, those elbows. All of that is working great. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two on the way. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Nice shot there by the champ. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Oh, and a head kick there. Good jab there by the champion. Push kick there to the body. Just over three minutes to go now. Hook in the clinch there by Roundtree Jr. Man, is he landing a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, that left thigh now really starting to swell. His kick attempt there, blocked. Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, back and forth we go. Man, every time the kickboxer goes to engage, He's having a jab sandwich. He's having to eat it every time. He's not moving his head enough. As he gets close, 
The well-rounded fighter just pops him right back. Yeah. That one shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and kick your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner Ready and being fight? hopeful that Ready. he can get it back together it. before the start of the next round. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. He's got to hurt. He's got to start looking to finish. Oh, my goodness. That was a big check. Done. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Just over three minutes to go. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Pedata. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set off that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side, so he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see it. Shots here. Alex Pineda gets tagged by that. Oh! oh, he hurt him again. Hands up. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but not able to find the target. that puts his opponent on skates. Oh, a huge block there. 15 seconds to go. Right. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the court. 
All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, Thrill on the other, Agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to, to put his opponent down. You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the other. You feel pretty good in round number five. Good strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Front kick to the body is there. Nice job by Roundtree Jr. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Let's work. Just over three minutes to go. Hook to the head there by Padilla. The well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. That is a clean strike, and it gets right through the goal. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, spinning back fist. One minute to go in the round. Block that punch. Double jab there by Pedeta. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Oh. Roundtree's really having a hard time putting weight on that leg now. You can see the obvious limp, and a lot of that is due to the leg kicks courtesy of his opponent. Start losing the stand-up battle. I want you to look for the takedown, okay? Ready to fight. Ready. Fifth and final round. Well, just as he did. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Let your hands go. Let go. Oh, nice block. limping heavily now, may want to raise a knee and try to check one of those kicks. I'm just not sure that his leg is going to hold up much longer as this fight continues. Oh, 
heavy kick downstairs. Three minutes now to go. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. His misses are entertaining. He's got to find a way to finish his fight. Keep pushing. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Great clock there. Don't wait. You hit him first. Alex Pereira gets caught by that straight punch there. Go for the takedown. Well, you don't want to take too many kicks on that calf, and now it's starting to show some visible damage. You can see the color starting to change on the calf. He's taking too many of his kicks. Big shot to the body. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Nice block. 15 seconds. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No. The champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Politan. Well, you heard it there from Bruce Buffer, Alex Pareda, your winner by decision, and not.